Happy Welcome back to my channel. I literally just woke up. Today I thought that it would be kind of fun to do a morning routine video, like the old school YouTube days. So as you saw, I already took Benny out. I gave him his breakfast. I like to just get him all situated and taken care of first, so that way I can get that out of the way and I don't have to worry about him. That way I can enjoy my morning and do what I need to do. So I... I'm going to brush my teeth and wash my face. This is the toothbrush that I have been using for, got this, I don't know, my mom got it for me for Christmas two years ago, I wanna say. Back when I was living in the apartment with the blue bathroom, if you remember that. It pauses every 30 seconds so that you can do like each quadrant of your mouth. That way you're getting the full two minutes. And when I was just using a manual toothbrush, I definitely was not brushing my teeth as long as I was supposed to, like for the full two minutes. So I love that that times it. And then once the two minutes are up, it just automatically turns off by itself. So I don't have to think about it. And then I've lately been using the Colgate Optic White Advanced. Now I'm gonna wash my face. In the mornings, I like to just use something that's like very, very gentle and not too much. At the moment, I got this sent to me a while ago and I've just been kind of like digging through my collection of products that I already have and I've just been trying to use that up before I buy anything new. So this is the Cloud Care Cream Oil Cleanser from the brand Agency. It's really gentle and it leaves your skin feeling nice and soft. So just super gently just to get off any oil or anything. Um, and like the skincare that I had put on the night before. And then in the mornings, I like to just keep it very simple. So all I'm gonna put on is some sunscreen. This is from the brand Circadia. This is professional, like more um, medical grade skincare. I discovered the brand back when I used to go get facials regularly. This is the brand the esthetician used on me and I really, really like their products. I'm just gonna brush through my hair. Pausing for a quick second to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Dossier. I discovered them about a year and a half ago, two years ago maybe. And since then, they have been the only company that I purchase my perfumes through. If you've never heard of Dossier before, they make dupes for high-end designer fragrances. They have scents inspired by brands like Tom Ford, YSL, Lil Labo, Jo Malone. But rather than spending like $200, Dossier's fragrances start at $19. They eliminate retailer markups, celebrity marketing, and licensing fees to offer luxury scents for 70 to 90% less. I'm a big fragrance person. I wear perfume pretty much every single day, sometimes even if I'm not leaving my apartment because I just like to smell good. So I love that I can get the designer scents that I love for a fraction of the price from Dossier. That way I can just purchase more and not feel guilty about wearing perfume every day. I'll share some of my current favorites a little bit later in the video, but if you guys wanna check out Dossier, go ahead and check out my description box for a link and discount code that will save you 10% off your purchase. Now let's go over to the kitchen. Morning coffee time. So if you watch me regularly, you already know I have an espresso, the Virtuo Next machine. I love this thing so much. So I keep all of my pods in this glass jar from Ikea. This is my favorite type. So we just pop that in there, close this. And I got a whole bunch of these glass mugs on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. While that is brewing, I'm going to grab my eye patches out of the fridge and honestly i don't even know if these like really do much but just having something cold under my eyes definitely like wakes me up wakes up my face 
People are always debating on like, what's the proper way to wear eye patches? Do you do them in this direction or the opposite way? I used to do it the opposite way, but then I'm pretty positive this is the right way you're supposed to do it. But either way, who cares? Like do whatever feels best for you. If you wanna wear them the other way, by all means do that, who cares? So for my coffee, this is how it looks. The Nespresso, what I love about it, I mean, the taste of the coffee is so good. Totally different from like just a regular traditional coffee maker at home. And I love that it makes this foam up top. But all I do, I don't add any kind of sweeteners or anything like that, nothing fancy. I literally just use plain half and half. Or sometimes I'll do um, plain unsweetened oat milk. Just depends on what I have and just like a little splash of that. Mm. Oh my God. That first sip, sometimes at night, if I'm just kind of like done with the day, I'll be like, all right, you know what? I'm over this. I'm gonna go to bed and try to fall asleep as quickly as possible. So that way I can wake up and have my morning coffee. Like I look forward to this so much. I'm gonna go enjoy this while I sit on the couch and usually what I like to do while I'm having my morning coffee is pull up YouTube on my TV I like to check my subscriptions see if anyone that I follow has posted anything new and I like to get caught up and especially on the days when I need to create YouTube content for myself um, watching other people sometimes helps me feel inspired and it like gets me feeling creative and just puts me in like the right headspace to want to create my own content. So I'm going to do that. And then I also have my planner that I keep here at the coffee table. And I like to go through this, especially today is a Monday. So especially on Mondays, I will go through and just kind of make sure that like my whole week is planned out. And I keep two different highlighters. That way I can separate work related things and personal things and like appointments and stuff like that. Oh my God, everyone is talking about um, Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars last night. Ugh, all right, I gotta watch this. Who told Will Smith it would be okay for him to climb onto the stage at the Oscars, uh, Jada? And ever since Jada has been doing her Facebook show. I threw a robe on because I was getting a little chilly. Now I'm going to make some breakfast. So we're going to do some scrambled eggs. I'm going to throw some mushrooms in there. And then we're going to do some chicken breakfast sausage on the side and a slice of this Tuscan bread. There is breakfast. It doesn't look the most appealing, but it smells really good. Normally I would have some fruit or something on the side, but I don't have any at the moment. So this is gonna do. I have a nice big glass of water here that I'm gonna have with it. And then I'm also going to take my supplements. These are the Alani New Balance Hormone Supporting Supplements. I've been taking these since July, I want to say, around the time that I got off of the birth control pill. I feel like it's really been helping me. I haven't had any bad symptoms. Not sponsored or anything. Um, I purchased these with my own money every time. They are a little bit pricey, not gonna lie, but to me it's worth it. So I take these with my first meal of the day. So I'm gonna eat this and then get ready for the day. I actually... Just remembered that I had a load of laundry in the dryer that I did last night and I want to put this stuff away before I get ready and actually start my day. Because I know if I don't do it now while it's fresh on my mind, I am going to forget about it. tiny tiny little bit 
of makeup on normally i wouldn't even bother unless i'm going to be filming a video in which case i would do like a full face of makeup but if it's just a day where i'm staying home and just doing computer work i don't bother but today i am going out and meeting up with a friend and then i have a couple errands to run so i figure since i'm going to be out and about why not just do a little something? So I'm going to put the Super Goop Glow Screen all over. This is sunscreen, obviously, more SPF. Um, but I really like this one because it's not technically tinted, but it's really glowy. And I feel like it slightly evens out my skin tone a little bit. Then I'm going to take a tiny bit of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I'm just gently tapping this under my eyes to brighten up. And a little goes a really long way with that stuff, so be careful. Like, you just need the tiniest little dot. And you always want to use either your ring finger or your pinky so that you're not applying too much pressure. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of brow gel. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. And that's it. I'm good. I'm going to put a little bit of perfume on too. This is the Woody Sandalwood from Dossier. This is a newer one. I just started wearing this like within the last week or so. And every time you get a perfume from Dossier, it comes with a little card that tells you all of the notes in the scent and the designer fragrance that it's inspired by. So this one is inspired by Le Labo's Santal 33, which I know is super popular. And I love the smell of this one. But it just, I don't know, it reminds me of the beach. And honestly, I was cleaning my apartment the other day and I sprayed my entire couch with this. And days later, it still smells like it. And it smells so good. It just, oh, it made my whole apartment smell amazing. So at the moment, this is my go-to daytime scent. Okay, here is my outfit for the day. I have this long sleeve ribbed top from Airy, this old flannel, you can't even really tell. It's like a navy blue and black. I wanna say it's from Walmart, actually. Faux leather jacket from H&M, Adidas workout leggings, and Adidas sneakers with just some plain Hayton socks on. Oh, and I have my Desi on red sunglasses. So yeah, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out and spending the morning getting ready with me. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to Dossier. I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye.